fantastic intro there, Pete. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was I enjoyed doing good. that. Um, and what you guys were hearing there was Pete and I using these amazing new little um, plug-in amp things, headphone <laughs> amp things from Fender called called the Mustang Micro. <laughs> um, it's kind of, yeah, it's... <laughs> I, it's, if you guys have seen um, little headphone amps before, things like the Vox Amp plug is a kind of a similar format. So you can see here, you basically just plug, it's you plug it into a guitar, it works anything, any kind of guitar it'll plug into. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Will it plug into an Ibanez in the back, for instance? Do you know what? Will it? I'm gonna, yeah, it's a good shout on that one. I was gonna come on to a bit later, but we might as well that. get that out the way now in that, um, yes, I have heard people who've bought things like the Boss Wazza headphones and the Yamaha THR where they get the read. Some of those really heavily Ibanez recessed jack sockets, you just can't get these in, which is kind of annoying. Even but. the PRS Silver Sky, you couldn't plug a the Boss one in. Well, we can check that right yeah. now for you viewers. Yeah. Uh, we've gone off topic a bit. So whilst Pete Sorry, is testing I just, that. I'm just, because um, you know, this is consumer advice here, Lee, isn't it? This is true. Does it fit? It certainly does, yes. So oh, Silver great. Sky uses yeah. no problem. Anyway. Anyway, that's just so, a sidetrack, but... Now, what you heard in that first jam was basically Pete and I had a Micro Mustang each, and we were doing something that maybe you guys probably wouldn't do, but we were taking the headphone socket out here and plugging direct into our interface, mm -hmm. and then just feeding the, the signals back into the uh, speakers in the room. I would tethered my phone to it, so the backing track you were hearing was one of the Anderton's TV um, backing tracks. Yeah, yeah, version 5. Uh, and we jammed uh, like that, and it's sounded great and I'll, I'll tell you about some of the features but what you're going to hear now which i suspect is that what most of you will use your um, mustang micro for <laughs> is pete's guitar is plugged straight into these headphones here and then we've got this very cool some of you may have seen this before which is a, a binaural microphone if i take the headphones off you'll probably see there's a basically a pair of rubber ears on each side it's like amsr hello <laughs> So yeah, if you imagine Pete go to sleep, bro. To the left ear, go to sleep, sweet bro. nothings. Uh, and and the idea are these these are uh, ear type microphones are specially designed for headphone demos. Um, so you're now going to hear. Uh, in fact, be even better if you've got a pair of headphones on. If you pop them on, you're basically all the time Pete's playing the guitar. You're hearing essentially what this sounds like through headphones. Now. Dead, dead easy. What Fender have tried to do with the Mustang Micro is give you all of the amp and effects that you need inside the Micro. So no need uh, for any kind of USB editor, Bluetooth editor. So unlike, say, Boss Wazza Air, where most of the um, changes yeah, you, you make are on your phone. And if you want to change a, a, a setting or something like that, you do it via the editor. Yeah. On here... Um, I don't know if the, is this easiest to tell if we go like this if I hold it. Oh, it's hold okay. It still. We can zoom in. Okay, till the moon comes. So you've home. got an, you've got an up and down switch here for the kind of amp that you want. Inside of each amp, there are loads of different amp settings. I want to say about a dozen or so, maybe even fifteen. So they're on the back of the box, which you can see. Perhaps we'll list those on screen now. Yes. For each of those amp settings, you, you've then got I think it's five different EQ settings. So just they're not. There's no sense necessarily that pressing the EQ up and down gets brighter or darker. It's just different kinds of EQ settings. Then you can add some effects and it's kind of the same thing. So there's again, there's about 15 or 12. Hang on, let me count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 amp settings you can count. and 12 effect settings. So yeah, there's 12 different kind of combinations of effects. Again, we'll probably just put those on screen now, but you can see that's going from things like simple reverbs through to, um, you know, two or three effects at the same time. Um, and then just the same way that you've got these kind of EQ variants of the amp, you've got these modification variants of the effect. Mm. And that's all there is to play with. There's no, there's no sense that it's more complicated than that. The USB output, is just for downloading firmware. Um, and it's a USB-C. Yes, it's, it's 2021 USB, not 1973 USB. I like that. Um, and believe it or not, via the USB, if you really, really want to, you can plug this into your computer and it'll work as an interface. So your, your you know, recording software will recognize this as an interface, which is kind of cool as well. Um, but really that's what it is. It's got a rechargeable battery in it. The recharging is via the USB. Uh, the manual, says you get four or five hours worth of, yeah. of playing time. But the weird thing is, is Pete and I have had these for about a month now and we've been playing on and off with them for about a month and have never recharged them since Not the first yet. time we had it. Yeah. So I, I suspect that that 
five hour thing is like the worst case scenario. So yeah. Pete. Yes, darling. Um, <laughs> oh, that, the only other thing is, well, you've just got a volume control on the front. Yeah, so yeah. can could, I just ask a question before we go on there? Would I be able to tether these to a Bluetooth headphone set? No. Okay. Well, that's so the, just, the Bluetooth. We'll just thing, get that out of the way. Well, unless you've got one of those headphone sets where you've got a little dongle that goes in one end and then. Because you have to find the way and, and pair yeah. them. Okay. I, I don't know. I just I was just a question because no, so I'm sure somebody will go, can I put. No, the Bluetooth is just for audio yeah. streaming in and the USB is really just for firmware updates and using it as like a two track. Yeah. So uh, it, won't be, it won't be like yeah. the Wasa Air. If anybody no. is thinking that's the solution. Like yeah. that, no. So that's so it. Here we so are. let's start with the first amp model, yeah. which is, Pete, that is the uh, the white light gives you a 65 twin with a compressor on it. And then on the effects bank, if you're again on the white light, it's just a large hall reverb. You so can see it, um, all of the lights here are now white. And yeah. it, it turns off, I guess, just for saving. Yeah, me. after about 20 seconds, yeah. the light setting turns off okay. to save a bit of battery. So. Oh, I'm playing one of these it, um, 75 anniversary uh, Mexican. It's lovely. It's, it feels really nice. I like it's, it. Yeah, we'll, more videos will come. There might be even a, a pop-up here where you can go and see that video and like and subscribe and hit the notification for not miss anything. Hey, okay, here we go. Great. So go one up on the amplifier settings. This takes us to a Red. 65 Deluxe with no compression. Okay. Fifty seven twin is the green one, so that's a bit a little bit browner sounding, I guess, a little bit darker. Uh, 60s British is the next one, and I think on this, that's the blue one. I think on this one, we'll go through some of the EQ settings as well, just to give okay. you an idea of. So if you just toggle up a couple, just oh, the effects, do, no, yeah. the EQs, just the EQ settings. That one here? Yep. So there's five here, yeah? Yep. So you can see the different colors. Here's the blue one. And here is the green one. <laughs> and here is the white one. So there's no sense. I think the idea on, on these is that the EQ isn't adjusting the amount of gain. The idea is that if you want more gain, you just go to some of the amps that you might associate more with gain. But it's just like, you know, fiddling around with the EQ controls yeah. on an amplifier. Uh, here is the yellow one. Okay, and yep. here is the red one. So let's That's move on a bit. Okay, now we'll go, we'll go through some more of the amp sounds and then we'll do the effects in a minute. Okay, so the next one along then should Yellow. be, this is saying a 65 Deluxe, so it's a Fender amp, but with a green box, which I'm guessing is a tube screamer in front of it. So imagine a Fender with a tube screamer in front of it. So shall I stay on the white uh, Whatever, man. EQ? Okay, Whatever you want. <laughs> I like just that. to see, I like just that. to see, yeah, yeah. Mm. 70s British is the purple one, so I'm expecting good things from you. But is that purple? I would say more <laughs> yeah, lavender. Pinky lav purple. Lavender. 70s British. Lavender. Back 
that pick up just quickly. <laughs> Nineties American will be a greeny coloured one, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a BB fifteen, so I'm guessing a blues breaker fifteen with lots of gain in is the next one. Uh, two more to go, Metal Tooth, oh no, three more, FBE 100. I'm guessing for copyright reasons they can't write Friedman Brown I 100. So what, what colour was that? Uh, was like that... a reddish colour, after the orange one. Okay, is that red? Okay, maybe I'm, okay. I am, I'm a slightly I think colorblind. it's difficult to get 12 distinct different colours here, isn't time, it? Yeah. So that's kind of so yellow with this one. Go back it? one then. Okay, back one. Okay, that's so the colour, that's one. The, this is the Friedman Brown Eye. Okay, Brown Eye. <laughs> Sounds like a brown eye. It's uh, Pete's uh, favourite amp tone of all time, Metal 2000. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, you know. I mean, we are listening, t listening. Just this is what we're hearing in the room. Well, you, you can see so, from our decibel meter that this is this is literally so so quiet in here oh, because yeah, yeah. what we don't want, we just want the ears to pick up the headphone. We don't want the ears to pick up the sound that we're hearing as well. So we, it's, we're just really really quiet in yeah. here. At let's the just have a let's have a bit more of that metal on a telecaster. Sorry. Not quite finally, but the next one is Uber. So I'm guessing that's Bogner okay. Uber Shell. Oh yeah, that's even more. Yeah. <laughs> On a telly. And then the last one <laughs> is a studio preamp. So of course, if you want to use this to play bass through or keyboards through or anything that you just want a flat response, yeah. uh, you can do that too. So this last one is obviously just very... Swizz back to the 65 Deluxe, which is the very first red one. I think it, does so it, it scroll circle, through? Yeah, it circles yeah. through. That's so that red but one would be perfect. It doesn't circle through with the other ones. Ah. It only go, as far as I notice, you go up there and then it goes to red and I have to go back to get to I blue. see. So that kind of makes sense, Let's see it? if it does that on this one here. So you should get, when you get right to the end, it should go to like a blue, a light blue colored one and then back to white again. Yeah, now this, the, the, the effect seems to circle. Okay, so let's through. start with the white one then. Yeah. So normal reverb. Okay, so here. Net red is a 65 spring reverb. A little different decay on the reverb. It's like, if, and you hear the spring. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. They do good reverb Fender on all of the well, Mustangs. It's, it's one of my favorite. I should say that Fender are claiming uh, that the, the DSP processor, the signal processor in the uh, Micro Mustang is utilizing the algorithms from their GTX Mustangs, which are the top, of, they're like the top of the range yeah. Mustang amps, aren't and they? And they do all the Fender clean, the Fender tones they do are, yeah. I don't think I even, even Boss, even a Katana doesn't do no, the I agree. Fender tone and the reverb as well. As as, as well. Okay, so but okay. it shouldn't do, it shouldn't so do. So the green, next green, and again, I'm not gonna go through all the different variants of this because essentially what the, what the modifications do to the effects would just be things like change the speed of choruses or change the length of delays and stuff. And so it's speed. Not, it doesn't okay. really, it's not, it's not really much point us going through all that stuff. We'll just stick to the basic effects. Yep. So this is now a modulated large hall reverb. Take me down to the Paradise City. <laughs> <laughs> like these I kind of again I think one of the things that guitar manufacturers don't get right often enough is making products simple to use you know some so many effects and, and modeled stuff you're like 
okay, fine, I get it. I want to be able to adjust, you know, the, the, the bass and the treble and the mid rate, but do I really want to be able to adjust sag and damp and like 15 different parameters of reverb and all that kind of stuff? I, I yeah. quite like the fact on this, I'm just going click, click, uh, well, there's a sound. That's why the guitar is so popular. I agree. You know? So, anyway, so move next on. one, the blue, dark blue, or whatever color this is, mm -hmm. is a, a chorus with a, roo a room reverb. I thought it said a rhubarb. A room reverb. Uh, then we've got a flanger with some reverb. A flanger. Hang on, let me just try with I the, was about the... to say, are you going to try and find, a, are you going to modify or put a different I'm gain modifying. sound on I'm it? Modifying. Okay. I think there's five or six different okay. types of modified okay, we'll start the purple. variants. You kind of picked my least favorite effect in flanger to show people how, yeah, but how it's, to modify it's, it. Yeah, but it is the one that does most sort of effects. True. Anyway, come on, next one up. So this set of purpley color is a tremolo with a reverb. Like it, and then vibratone with a reverb. Um, that was it. That's green, green. Should be vibratone. <laughs> Next is yeah. orange is a harmonic tremolo. My new favorite effect. <laughs> then we've got a bit of slapback delay. Tape delay is next. Oh, what colour is that? Green should be after red. Okay, here we go. Then we've got a big <laughs> one here. We've got chorus and delay and reverb on the purpley colour. That's uh, me down Guns to the Roses, Paradise. yeah. <laughs> And lastly is a 2290 delay, so that's like a studio type delay with a big Jeez. reverb on it. Proper stereo. There you go. So look, conclusions, Mr. Pete. I should yeah. I should say first of all that um, these are 89 pounds. Yeah. All right, so let's just keep that in perspective. All that, all that super goodness for the price of a single decent overdrive pedal, half decent overdrive pedal. Yeah, and, and a tank of fuel for some cars. So let's let's talk about where Micro Mustang sits in, in our opinion. Yeah. So for, for me, when I first got this, immediately I thought, oh, it looks a bit like one of those Vox Amplug kind yeah. of things. And I've had a Vox Amplug, and for me, that kind of very transistory kind of distortion that you get from that, often with no reverb or anything like that, is the epitome of the kind of the wasp in a jam jar kind of tone for me. And I know they're really, really cheap, so I shouldn't really kind of yeah, um, be too critical of it. But it, I, I, honestly, I'd rather just hear an electric guitar, <laughs> like just, acoustically, yeah, just play and use one of those. I yeah. apologize. And I'm also a massive fan of the Boss Wazza Air headphones, which again are a kind of a similar concept but way more money like yeah, yeah, yeah. four times the price or using mine like over the weekend again it's great. yeah and got all that kind of weird spatial stuff as you move your head Which so I so i was kind of thinking to myself well what's this going to be is this going to be is this going to be closer to wazza air closer to amplug where's it going to where's it going to sit uh, and i'm pleased to say that whilst i still think that the boss wazza air is a more immersive kind of sense of playing the guitar with them on and there's yeah. certainly more you can do this is 50 times better than the amplug experience yeah. yeah and given that it's only sort of two and a half times the price of an amplug so it's still only 89 quid as opposed to 30 or 40 quid and nowhere near the sort of 350 400 quid that the boss no uh, wazza headphones are no admittedly 
boss, I suppose, includes the headphones. But these. that's everything is in the headphones, yeah. and then the, the, yeah. the, the. I I have to say that I think, I think anybody now who's going right, I don't want to spend a ton of money, but I want to get one of these little plug-in things. Yeah. Oh, what's this Vox and plug? I would go, please, 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 <laughs> find the extra fifty quid or whatever it's going yeah. to cost you. And buy one of these ones because it's so much nicer having all the different amp models and the different effects and, yeah. and they've done a really good job so I that think my, my sense is you know there's no latency it's i suppose there wouldn't feel, be would there because it's it's feel yeah it's straight plug in and i mean if you want to walk around your house and put a guitar on strap on here that in there put a headphones on that little cable hanging up here that's not a problem yeah and then you your iphone in your back pocket or your android or whatever stream some music to it just walk around and ignore the kids. They don't have to be <laughs> big headphones like this. They can be little in-ear oh, headphones. Anything. It's whatever, you, yeah. whatever you've got. As long yeah. as you've got little micro, you know, the little mini jack, um, mini jack. input at the end of it. So I, I'm kind of... It's great. I, I honestly great think thing. anybody that takes their guitar anywhere... I've just bought a camper van. Hey, everybody, join the old uh, hordes you, of campers you, uh, for this year. Yeah, so now you're going to go out and get COVID somewhere in, in, in convoy no, instead not, of... I'm, yeah, <laughs> exactly, the COVID convoy. Um, the, uh, and I can just... I was literally thinking to myself, can I take an electric guitar with me where we go? I probably Wasn't could, but then what would I play it through? And this is this is literally ideal for that kind of you know, thing. A travel guitar. Yeah, even... even I, I would even be tempted to say when beginners are buying a guitar and an amp package, maybe even instead of buying a little 80 pound guitar amplifier, which is never going to sound amazing. And particularly if, oh, you're, I agree, yeah. if your mum and dad are going to go, you know, stick your headphones in all the time because we don't want to hear you making a noise. This is going to sound way, way better than, you know, a little 80 pound guitar amplifier. I agree, I agree. So, I th and then you can stick it to yourself in your room and you don't have to hear, listen to anyone, you know, that's great. Yeah, so, so I don't know what you guys think. I mean, as I said, we, We've played it a lot in here. I really, really like it. Hopefully the, the way we've demoed this with the, the headphones on the, the sort of the rubber ears give you a good idea of what it sounds like. Or, or listen to the uh, the jams in the beginning and the end because that's gone straight in and that's how I've listened to it. And I think that yeah. sounds great. So there we go. Well done, Fender. I think yeah. they're going to sell bucket loads of these. Yeah. Um, links below if you um, want to read up some more specs on it. As I said, the, the box it comes with is um, there's, there's virtually no manual. You don't really need a manual. Just All of the in. information about the models uh, and the effects models are on the back of the box. Yeah. It's really, really straightforward like to little, use. Little uh, robbery bits here so it doesn't slide off the guitar when you plug it into a strap type yeah. socket. And here it just sits there. Look at that. Yeah. Bosh. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, no. uh, there you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like and subscribe. The, the Mustang Micro. You <laughs> saw it here first. Uh, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later, guys.